from Brass Monkey. Hey, Chris. Hey, thanks for having me on. Yeah, well, you were on here a couple of years ago, right? Yeah, that's right. So first, why don't you tell our listeners, what's Brass Monkey? Yeah, so Brass Monkey is a, um, a multi-screen platform that allows you to make applications and games that uh, leverage your phone as a either a game controller or a second screen. Um, and it can be multiple phones all connecting to one screen and doing all kinds of crazy and interesting stuff. God, college students must love you. <laughs> and parents must hate you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? You do focus groups. Parents, I'm spending it, all this money on university. My kids are not using their phones. Oh, believe it or not, we have this huge dip in, uh, um, with, with the college age kids that they don't use it. Um, I think that's because they're out doing other things. Um, mm. Rather other than things playing they should games. be doing. Exactly. You know? <laughs> Um, but it, it, it's it's weird because that very age group is probably one of our least uh, uh, so other than above 60 and you know stuff like that. So what is your target target group? Oh, so it, it, right after college, believe it or not, uh, that's a, tends to be a pretty much a, a big one. People in their 20s and 30s, um, and then also high school age kids. Well, that, yeah, I would assume the high school age yeah. kids. Yeah, so basically anybody but the college students. Do you play but. games yourself? <laughs> I do, yeah. Do you have favorite games? Um, I, you know, I, I tend to like a, a lot of kind of the tablet-based games now, um, kind of more casual games. I love puzzle games and right. stuff like that, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So tell us about the business. Who's in the business besides you, and what do you do? Yeah, so I, I'm the um, CEO of the company. I'm actually, you know, we're, we're kind of going through an interesting transition right now away from kind of a more uh, focused on the consumer product and more towards licensing. Um, so it's kind of one of those classic, uh, you know, startup pivots. And um, the main reason for that is just that it's really tough to kind of monetize on the, on the games that we have up there now. And what we're also seeing is tremendous demand for being able to build these type of multi-screen applications. Um, when we first came out with this back in 2009 and 2010, People just thought we were crazy. It was like, what the heck are you doing? Why are you using your phone to control something on another screen, like your TV or something? But now that's becoming much more common, and we're seeing tons of uh, you know demand for other style applications that are beyond games that are actually doing this kind of thing. Um, so you imagine just being able to control your TV uh, using your phone and being able to do those type of applications like that. Um, and then the, everything from that to being able to use it in a classroom uh, or using your phone to order a drink, for example. Sounds know. great. 